Hey you guys, we're here to make a couple of things for my two tier tray, so don't be scared. We are going to repaint. So these are my colors. These are the colors I used last year and I made this beautiful garland, which I have a video I'll put down below. But this year we're gonna change it around. So I'm gonna see if I could paint the green yellow and the blue purple. Now it's a big chance I'm willing to take it without remaking the whole garland again. But I'm thinking if I do paint it, it might be a big mess. So you know what? No, just you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. So let's redo this garland because this is what inspired me this year. So these are my colors. So I do have to change it. So let's go ahead and see if we could change it and just remake it again. So before I do that, I am definitely going to... Now, I did leave a piece here because I like to tie it. You don't have to leave one, but I love to leave a little hoop. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And just, just a little hoop like this just to tie it or you can even hang it on your Ray Dunn stuff. So I'm going to close it up with my glue gun, which is behind me. So don't worry. Go ahead and grab your glue gun and see the shot. And that is my glue gun that just fell. But don't worry you guys we are just saving this shut and i do need my glue gun so we must pick it up okay so all i did was seal it shut with glue you see right there well go check out the video i don't i don't want to waste too much time on this because i already made a ton of these videos all i'm gonna do is a knot right there where I sealed this shut. Now I'm gonna make two of them because I know how this goes. I don't want the balls to come out, but I still want a knot to there. So this is perfect. So they're not gonna go nowhere. So let's go ahead and measure this. And I'm gonna leave a quite a few for the knot. I'm gonna go ahead and seal this with the glue just so it's easier to pass the beads through. Add a little bit of glue and twist it with your fingers. It does not burn, trust me. Just a little bit, you'll be fine. If you're a DIYer, you're used to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna make the same beads. I'm gonna add the same beads because I love this tone. And all I'm gonna do is color the ones that I want to be yellow again. So let's say the purple one. Let's see if we can color this blue purple. Grab the back of a paintbrush, grab the purple, shake it. Always shake your paint before you use it. Trust me. It pays off and let's see if we could color this if not I'll throw it away and grab a white bead but I don't want to throw it away if I don't have to so I'll probably end up making two to three layers of this just so it's really nice and colored can you guys see what I'm doing and it actually worked out perfect I'm taking all this excess paint off. You don't need too much of it. So look at how cute that is. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and do that. So it'll be the purple. And then the pink, the green is what I'm going to paint. I don't care for that. So it's three of the purple. So I'm going to go ahead and do another purple. I don't want to mess up the whole, the way I have it. So I'm just going to take my time. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel so you can see other videos. I don't know about you, but I love painting. I don't know. There's something about it that just, it gives you like a happy feeling just to go ahead and paint. So 
I actually want to do the green yellow, but let's see if we could do that as well. Shake it. And let's use it. Let's see if that'll work out without me having to waste another bead. Because, you know, these beads are kind of expensive. I think that with a couple of layers of yellow, it'll be fine. I'm happy that I don't have to waste on more beads and I could just redo these. So I think that's going to be perfect. So I'll do this one, yellow. You guys, how is it over there where you're from? Over here we have so much snow, I couldn't even get my car out. But thank God I have a good car with good wheels that I was able to get it out without any trouble. I feel so bad when I see people stranded in the snow. Okay, so let me go ahead and paint the rest and then we'll come back. I don't wanna make this video way too long, but I do wanna keep this as a reminder of what I'm doing because I wanna make sure that i do it right and the yellow i'm just going to keep going with the yellow so as you can see if you need to remake something don't be scared to redo it especially when it's a diy Look how pretty that is. With one or two more coats on this, I'll be able to do it how I want. I wanna make sure I have the picture of how I, I like it like this. So I'm gonna go get my kid's tablet and take a picture so I won't forget as I am showing to you. And I'll go ahead and come back when everything is dry. Okay, hey you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and try to put this together I did take a picture, just so you guys know, of how it looks or how it looked, whatever. I took a picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together. So it's the white, white, it's the brown. And then I have a, I have a purple. So it's gonna be the purple. So hopefully it's nice and dry. And it does seem nice and dry. So it's the purple, the pink, and then I have the purple, the pink, another white. I don't know why I have another white, but let's go for it. A yellow. The yellow should be nicely done too. So a yellow. And I think that is going to be the pattern. So then I have a wood again. And then after the wood, I have a purple again. So we're gonna go ahead and just make this, I think. It's gonna be amazing. Then the pink. Then after the pink, I have another white. And after the white, I have a yellow. So I'm just gonna take these off already. They should be dry. If they're not, go ahead and leave them a couple of more seconds to dry. I'll go ahead and <laughs> blow on them and see if that'll help. If it doesn't help, use a blow dryer. But they should dry. I don't think that you should have any, any problem with it. Now I'm going to go ahead and post a picture on Instagram. So if you want to see it nice and close, go ahead and check out my Instagram. Like I said, I'll always have the link down below. And if you can never find it, just go ahead and email me. I also leave my email down below. So either way, you'll have, you'll be able to reach me. No matter what, you'll be able to reach me and ask me anything you want to go ahead and ask. But we are almost done here and it's looking really, really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off. 
I actually love the new colors I chose. So I love it. I don't know about you. If you want to go ahead and change up the colors, go ahead and change it up. And make sure that when you're ending your garland, you end it with the same way you started it. So if you ended it with two white beads, end it with two white beads. Just because that is going to look really nice. And look how cool that is. So I'm going to go ahead and close it up and then I'll come back. Okay, guys, so I just made the double knot here. And here you go. You have a beautiful garland that I just remade from an old one. So don't ever throw away your old stuff. Go ahead and redo it, remake it, and it's going to look gorgeous. And then it's going to match my little books over there. And I love it. So I hope you guys make one. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Comment down below if you have a question. And until next time, bye, you guys. Look how cute this is.